Hi everyone, this is Sean, Fit for Assets Marketing Manager. In this video, we are going to be talking about how to participate in a Montgomery County, Pennsylvania sheriff sale here on Bid for Assets. A sheriff sale is a public auction to facilitate the sale of property that's been repossessed due to an unpaid debt. The proceeds from that sale are then used to satisfy that debt. In many cases, this sale results from a mortgage foreclosure. Now the first thing you'll want to do to participate in this or any auction available on Bid for Assets is register for a free Bid for Assets account if you haven't done so already. There are no monthly fees required to maintain your account. It's completely free and the registration process should only take a few minutes. To begin, you'll want to go to the top navigation bar here on Bid for Assets and select Sign Up. From there, you'll be prompted to provide an email address and create a password. That password will be what you use to log into your account, as well as confirm bids, so be sure to make it something that you feel confident you'll remember. From there, you'll need to provide some basic contact information, confirm your phone number, and finally, log in to your email account to confirm the email address that you've placed on file and complete registration. Bid for Assets has a video walking you through every step of this process, and you can access that video by going to bidforassets.com slash ibids. Again, that's bidforassets.com slash i-v-i-d-s. You'll see we've got many videos here walking you through various steps of a Bid for Assets auction, including how to register for an account. Now, after you've created your Bid for Assets account, the next thing that you'll want to do is go to the Montgomery County Sheriff Sale landing page. You can do this from the Bid for Assets homepage by selecting the Sheriff Sales slash Foreclosures display located here to the right of the map. Additionally, you can find it scrolling down here below the map in the Featured Listings section. And selecting it here will also take you directly to the sales landing page. Now the first thing that I want to draw your attention to here on the landing page is the display up top that says sales date. Montgomery County typically hosts their sheriff sale with bid for assets on the last Wednesday of every month. Selecting the sales date tab here will display a list of dates for upcoming auctions and selecting one of those dates will generate a list of properties currently available for that date. So for example, when I select January 27, 2021, which is the first sale Montgomery County will be conducting in the new year, you see that it generates a list displaying only properties that will be available on that date. Once you've selected the auction date that you want to view, you can use the arrows here at the bottom of the list to move from page to page. And the arrows at the end here will take you to either the last page on the list or the first page on the list. Now some auctions may be marked as stayed or postponed. And an auction that's been stayed has been canceled, while an auction that's been postponed is being rescheduled for a later date. Leaving the Show Available Auctions Only box checked will ensure that you only see auctions that are still scheduled to move forward. And you can toggle this off or on as you choose. So here it is off, and then turning it back on. Now it's important to remember that each auction is treated as its own event. Each auction date is treated. As its, own, as its own event, and will typically have a deposit specific to that date. In other words, if you'd like to bid on one or more auctions in Montgomery County's January 27th sheriff sale, then you only need to submit one single paddle fee deposit, and that deposit will let you bid on all of the auctions that are scheduled for January 27th. If you would like to participate in the January 27th sale, but you also see some auctions that you want to bid on in the February 24th sale, then you'll need to submit two separate bid deposits, one for January 27th and one for February 24th. 
But for each date, remember that you only need to submit one bid deposit and it will qualify you to bid on every auction that's available for that date. So once you see an auction that you'd like to bid on, go to that auction page. And one of the first things that you'll see is an orange button that reads, click here for deposit instructions. Bid deposits are typically required to qualify for any public auction that bid for assets hosts. They should be sent directly to bid for assets and there are currently two methods allowing for you to do this. They are certified check and wire transfer. Before you obtain deposit instructions for submitting your deposit, note that you'll first be prompted to provide your social security number if this is your first time ever submitting a deposit with bid for assets. And after that, you'll be prompted to provide pre-vesting information detailing how you'd like any potential property that you've won to be titled. Just like with registration, Bid for Assets has got a video walking you through every step of this process. And again, you can access that and our other videos by going to bidforassets.com slash ibids. Now, once Bid for Assets has received your deposit, it will be processed and you will be notified via email and in your Bid for Assets message center once you've been cleared to bid. If you don't win any auctions, then your deposit will be returned to you via a principal e-check that will come to you in using the email address that you've linked with your account. And that'll be sent out within 10 business days of the auction's close. You can print that check and take it with you to your bank or you can scan it with a mobile app, just like a normal bank check. Now let's take a closer look at an individual auction page from one of the sheriff sale properties here and talk a little bit about due diligence. This auction page will have any available information that the sheriff's office can provide about these properties. Neither the sheriff nor bid for assets will have any additional information on the condition of the property or its title, including whether the property is free of any liens. It's very important that you complete your own due diligence before bidding on a property, including checking the condition and value of the property, as well as any relevant information on the property's title status. Both the Sheriff's Office and Bid for Assets would recommend that you consult with an attorney before purchasing property from a sheriff sale. Bid for Assets CEO led a webinar on how to research tax sale properties, and much of the information in that video will be relatable and helpful for your sheriff sale due diligence. You can find that video by going to bidforassets.com slash resource center. You'll see that this page includes written guides, FAQs, and our due diligence video guide for researching tax sale properties. A key piece of advice that I wanna mention from that video here, however, is the importance of visiting a property when you can. Obviously, you don't wanna set foot on a property as that would constitute trespassing, but there is nothing preventing you from driving by a property and viewing its exterior. And that is a very worthwhile form of due diligence to practice whenever you can. Now you may have noticed when we were back on the landing page for Montgomery County that many of the sheriff sale properties displayed there don't currently have a minimum bid or as it's typically known for sheriff sales an upset price. In fact for this property here you'll see where it says awaiting minimum bid slash upset price. The reason for this is that attorneys set the upset price for each auction manually and many will wait to do so closer to the day of the auction. This is how live sheriff sales work as well, actually. Attorneys will wait and factor all the costs associated with the foreclosure auction right up until the last minute and call out an opening bid at the auction itself. So in your auction research, you are going to need to determine how high you are willing to bid on a property though you may not yet know whether the upset price will be set above or below that number. 
Once the upset price is set and the auction opens, you can go in and start bidding. You can bid along in small increments, or you can place your maximum proxy bid and the system will bid up on your behalf. The system will ensure that you do not need to bid more than is necessary to beat the second highest bidder by one bid increment. In other words, placing your proxy bid is similar to having a number in your head when you go to a live auction. And the system will bid up to that amount on your behalf, but not over it. Settlement terms, or the timelines and amounts that will be due after the auction closes, will be located in each auction as well as in the county's terms of sale on their landing page. Let's go back to that landing page now and take a look at the settlement terms for ourselves, which is something that you should always, always do prior to bidding. You'll see here on the landing page where you can select settlement instructions right beneath the property list. And you'll also see that Montgomery County's sheriff sales full payment must be received by bid for assets no later than 12 days following the close of an auction. It's very important to be aware of these terms as you will be declared in default and forfeit your deposit to the sheriff's office if you fail to abide by them. Now at the end of a sheriff's sale, you will receive an email alert letting you know if you won any of the auctions that were available. And that email alert will provide you with settlement instructions, as well as a link to bid for assets deed wizard tool. The deed wizard tool will allow you to update vesting information individually for any property that you've won. So to recap some key points. To participate in Montgomery County's sheriff sales, you will want to 1. Register a free bid for assets account. 2. Visit the Montgomery County sheriff sale landing page on bid for assets and select the date of the auction that you wish to bid in. 3. Obtain deposit instructions and send your deposit for the auction or auctions that you wish to bid on. Remember, one deposit for one auction date and that one deposit lets you bid on all of the auctions available for that date. Four, thoroughly research the properties you intend to bid on and place your bids when the auctions open. Additionally, read the auction settlement terms ahead of time and be sure that you have the funds ready to complete the sale on any auction that you win. And finally, five, if you are a successful bidder, Follow the instructions in your post-auction email to complete settlement. Again, sheriff sales can be complicated, so do your due diligence and consult with an attorney ahead of the sale. Bid for Assets is always here to help with live customer service over 40 hours a week. So always feel free to reach out to us by going to bidforassets.com contact. You can also obtain our contact information by going back to the top navigation bar of the homepage and selecting the Contact Us tab. That will provide you with our customer service team's email address and phone number. Again, you can reach out to us at any time. Until then, we hope this video was helpful for you and we wish you the best of luck in your next auction on Bid for Assets. Take care.